I'm Tim. And I'm Christy. And, and we're, we're the, the Kelly, Kelly Corner. Corner. Hey everybody, Tim here, Kelly Corner again. I got a little video here for you I want to show you about uh, the uh, just the door latch here. It's the door catch. Basically, it's pretty simple. You know, once this open this door and it swings around and it's supposed to latch onto this right here. And uh, as you can see, this is broken off. Uh, and this is was a plastic one, so you know they, they do make metal ones that are a little bit you know more sturdy. You don't have to worry about. They don't cost that much more. But today I'm going to show you how to replace this part of it, the proper way to do it. And um, I'm just going to replace it with uh, just no, normal plastic ones. So show you what I mean here. And if you see here, I bought a pack of these off of Amazon. And I'll have a link to these and other versions, the metal versions and everything of this and the link here below this video. Okay, we're going to use this portion of it. I'm not going to replace the one on the door because it doesn't need it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the one here that mounts right here. And this piece just fits in behind it like that. And we go to mount that in there. It snaps in like that. So this is ready to be mounted, but first we need to get the old one off. Okay, well first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these screws. We're going to take these screws off here where this mounts onto the camper. Now when you take these off, you will probably see the old butyl tape that's on there. Nothing wrong with that, that's normal. That one's got a little rust on it. I'll show you what we'll do with that. You can easily go out and just buy these white headed screws for these RVs, it's no problem. We're just going to reuse these. Just a quick job here. All right, as you can see, it's not just going to come right off. You have to use a little bit of something to pry with to get that off. I am going to use what I'm calling a spudger to get this off with. This will just get right back behind the beetle tape there and pry this guy right off like that. Now this butyl tape here is looking pretty good. Still moist. Don't necessarily have to remove that. We just want to be sure that we have a nice tight seal once the new piece goes back into place. This fits back on there just like this. You know what? Now with this, I'm just going to add some. I'm just going to add some fresh, a light coating of fresh butyl tape here to help seal this. Let me get my butyl tape. All right, butyl tape is a lovely, lovely piece of material. I don't know if you've never worked with it before. It's. Uh, it's really a great material that uses on RVs, campers, and boats and such. But it comes in a roll like this. And it's just like very similar to like clay. Very similar to like a, yeah, like, like soft clay. So I'm just going to add... I'm just going to add a thin layer of this over the top of the existing. 
just to give it some fresh tape to kind of seal onto. And uh, your situation may be different than mine. As far as uh, you may, you, you may want to go ahead and just remove all of the old beetle tape there and start fresh from scratch. But I honestly didn't see a need for that in this instance. So I've got my fresh beetle tape on there. We'll just kind of press our latch on there like so. Get the screws started. We're just looking for a watertight seal in a little area like this. You know, normally if it was a larger area around windows, around uh, cabinet latches, um, around cargo bays, you know, larger areas, I would definitely just recommend taking and taking off every bit of the old stuff and just starting from scratch just to make sure. But this is a very small area. Just get screwed in. You shouldn't have to worry about whether it lines up or not because it's a universal uh, kit here. These. Every RV has the same sort of tight setup as far as the latch goes. Now you may have some that are a bit larger that the holes don't line up. So you want to be sure that you order, check your measurements and be sure you order the right parts. But you can see that new butyl tape kind of pushing out the sides and that's what we want. That's pretty tight. You don't have to go super tight with that. Okay, and before we do anything else here, let's let's test that. You see? Fits right in. No problem. So now what we're going to do. Show you what I'm going to do here with this guy. Put some white paint on that. You can actually put some white paint on all of it. On all of them. Just to kind of make it uniform. Or at least the same looking pipe screws hmm, you can kind of take your finger and take off the excess if you want to yeah not too bad huh Get a little bit more right there there you go ain't got to be nothing perfect right Nice. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of push the new butyl tape that had squished out. I'm going to kind of mold it around a little bit. And I'm going to add me a very thin bead of caulk around the edges of this. Now I know you can go out and buy those big tubes of uh, Camco uh, caulking. This uh, works really well for jobs like this. But um, for a little small job, I just went out and it got me a little Liquid Nails Clear Seal. Now when you do stuff like this, you want to be sure that it is compatible or can be applied to siding. As with this is, some people, you know, have, of course, you know, fiberglass uh, 
fiberglass so just, just be sure whatever you use is uh, going to be okay with the surface you're putting this onto. But we're going to go ahead and And of course this tip needs to be cut. You know, because for me to buy a big old tube of this, the Camco stuff, you know, with the uh, with the caulking gun, um, you know, for this, I mean, you, pretty much you would have to have other places you want to seal with it because, I mean, using it for this little small area and then I'll put it away for, I don't know, who knows how many more months. They always seem to go dry, you know. So I always I want to try just something small here so I don't have to ruin I don't have any other thing that needs to be caulked at the moment, so I'm just going to try this. This is already drying up. It hasn't even been opened. How about that? That's how this stuff does, man. Well, with this stuff that I have, it hasn't even been opened yet, and it was already kind of sealing up, I mean, getting hard, so I'm just going to, I know this looks funny, but it'll work. I'm just going to slightly put that on there, and I'm going to work that in with my finger all the way around. See how that works? See, this is that's the reason why I don't buy large tubes of this stuff unless I'm doing larger projects. But this is, this dries clear. It's good stuff. Whatever way we need to do it to get it done, right? I'm gonna have to just throw this away after I'm done with it. It doesn't have much more life left in it. I'm just trying to get this looking presentable where it doesn't look sloppy. Almost like put it on my finger and do it that way. It's very thick because it's already drying. And I just bought this probably two weeks ago, maybe. That ain't too bad. Just something to get it water tight, water sealed. There we go. So there you go. Quick little fix there. Like I say, once again, you could have taken everything off, cleaned the surface, and reapplied. In this case, I don't think that's necessary. Good, nice, watertight seal. Once that dries, everything will be good there. This will probably break off again at some point. Probably need to invest in the metal ones. But hey, I just was going to do this. I figured I'd show you guys. Also, with the, you know, with the tube that I, the I already half, you know, dried tube that I had, I went around and um. Just added some more uh, caulking in just some places where I thought that maybe was starting to show signs of cracking here. Along here and along in here. Um, I think, uh, you know, definitely up along in my air conditioned um, uh, shroud here. You can see where there's little cracks. I've just kind of gone through and sealed those up with the with the caulking that I, extra caulking that I had. So, you know, just so I won't waste it. Uh, did a few of the little areas too, like right here. Just a little extra something. It's part of maintenance on RVs, you know. It's always gonna be maintenance. Anyway, I just figured I would share this with everybody. Hope this helps somebody out. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Kelly Corner. Happy camping.